we gonna shed some weight with this baby right here. We gonna cut a few pounds off our tummies and our hips. So get yourself an organic head of cauliflower. Wash it off, I've already done this right here. We're gonna make some flowerettes, put them in a food processor, pulse them up, and make this look like rice. Get your, um, take your head of cauliflower, cut around like this. Drop a few heads of cauliflower in your food processor. There you have it. So, there we have it. One small head of cauliflower will give you about this much rice, right? Rice. <laughs> so, now you wanna get your pan real hot, drizzle a little olive oil or avocado oil, dice up one, red one regular onion, you can use red onion too. This is one onion. We're going to let that cook down a little bit because the cauliflower cooks up really quickly. Now, while our onions are trying to caramelize a little bit, I'm gonna tell you a little tip about the cauliflower rice. When you put it in a pan, the tip is do not cook it too long because you want the consistency of rice. So you don't want it mushy. So we're gonna let the onions cook down a little bit and then we're gonna add our cauliflower rice and then we're gonna season it up. Let's check on these onions. Mmm, they smell really good. So. The onions have cooked down a little bit. So we are going to add our cauliflower rice. Now, I like to put in some organic sweet peas. Now, if you don't like peas, you don't have to put the peas in, but it adds some extra flavor and a little bit of color. So this is a cup, so add your cup. That's a cup of frozen peas. Now, we're gonna give it a little toss and add some seasoning. I go in with a little garlic powder. Go in with the little onion powder and Italian seasoning. I like Italian seasoning in my cauliflower rice. And go in with a little pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt and a little bit of cracked pepper. So that right there will be just about all the seasonings you need to give your cauliflower rice a little flavor. Now, while this is cooking, I wanna tell you the benefits of doing your own cauliflower rice. Number one, it's cost effective. Saves you a ton of money. You don't have to go buy the cauliflower rice. Plus, you it will save on sodium because sometimes when it has, you buy cauliflower rice and it has the extra seasonings and herbs and everything in it, you get an extra sodium. So, and you're gonna get a whole lot, whole lot of bang for your buck. Get a little head of cauliflower, feed your whole family. So, let's let that rest a little bit, and we're gonna come right back. Okay, let's give it a check. All right, okay, so. This is looking good. This has been cooking for, mmm, it smells wonderful. This has been cooking for 10 minutes. And that's about probably all you need for this to have the consistency you want. 
and for all the flavors to kind of come together and all your seasoning. So, friend, you can eat as much as this as you want. Don't have to worry about packing on the pounds. This is a good rice hack if you like what you see. If you think it looks so yummy and delicious, go on and hit your subscribe button. Hit your like button. And we are going to give this a taste. There you go. Uh-huh. See that steam? Looks yummy, right? So, let's go ahead and taste. That's our food. What is going to spread? Thank you, Jesus. You first. Mm. Mm. Friends, you have your healthier option. You have a good rice hack. Low calorie dish that you can just about put anything on top of this. You can do your salmon. You can put rice. You can put some lean meat chicken. Or you can eat it by itself with a whole bunch of veggies. All we got to do is get off that couch and get moving, right? See you in the next video. Bye.